Hello guys, and welcome to another episode. If you haven't heard, Don Lemons has been fired. Here are some of Don Lemons worst moments on CNN. We're going to get right into this episode. There's so many great clips to pull from in his 17 year career. But the first one we're going to pull is from Don Lemons when he accuses this mom of having mommy brain and therefore insulting all moms. Don Lemon attributed her slip up to mommy brain. Classy. Watch. 70% of Republicans, um, uh, uh, sorry, it's well, the you lose your train of thought. I do it all the time. I, 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 I did. But <laughs> is it fair to say this? Because I'm not a mommy, but is it mommy brain? Is it you? you have, no, you Don. I, I, I can just, call it COVID. I, forgot I, forget, what I, I, forget, I forget what I'm talking about all the time. It's, <laughs> it's, it's COVID fog. You can call it COVID fog. No, I just forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> We're not beating up on you. We're just having fun. Don Lemon getting absolutely destroyed by Morgan Freeman on race. Don Lemon is one to regularly scream racism everywhere. And Morgan Freeman puts him in his place. So can we, can I go back to, because I, I, I thought what you said was fascinating because you called it bull when you said people can't, you know, pull themselves up. Do you think that race plays a part in wealth dis distribution or either a mindset that you can't Today? or cannot? Yeah. No. You don't? No. I don't. I don't. Hey, you and I, we're proof. Why would race have anything to do with it? Stick your, put your mind to what you want to do and go for that. Uh, it's kind of like religion to me. It's a good excuse for not getting there. Yeah. Next up, Don Lemon is a huge climate change proponent. And he tries to claim everything is climate change when he has no facts. He has no background in this. And this meteorologist takes him to task. Meteorologists, Jamie, have said that this storm could be entering another period of rapid intensification. Can you tell us what this is and what effect climate change has on this phenomenon? We, we can come back and talk about climate change uh, at a later time. I want to focus on the here and now. I'm just trying to get that you said you want to talk about climate change, but what, what effect does climate change have on this phenomenon that, that is happening now? Because it seems these storms are intensifying. To link it to any one event, um, I, I would caution against that. Next, he demands from this representative from the royal family if they're going to pay reparation to the black people living in the UK, and he gets wrecked by this. It's facing rising costs of living, a living crisis, a, a austerity budget cuts, and so on. And then you have the, those who are asking uh, for reparations for colonialism, and they're wondering, you know, $100 billion, $24 billion here and there, $500 million there. Some people want to be paid back, and, uh, and members of the public are wondering, why are we suffering when you are... You know, you have all of this vast wealth. Those are legitimate concerns. Well, I think you're right about reparations in terms of if people want it, though, what they need to do is you always need to go back to the beginning of a supply chain. Where was the beginning of the supply chain? That was in Africa. And when that crossed the entire world, when the slavery was taking place, which was the first nation in the world that abolished sla uh, slavery? The first nation in the world to abolish it. It was started by William Wilberforce, was the British. In, in Great Britain, they abolished slavery. 2,000 naval men died on the high seas trying to stop slavery. Why? Because the African kings were rounding up their own people. They had them on cages waiting in the beaches. No one was running into Africa to get them. And I think you're totally right. If reparations need to be paid, we need to go right back to the beginning of that supply chain and say, who was rounding up their own people and having them handcuffed in cages? Absolutely. That's where they... We all know why. Don Lemon is getting fired. It's because he's a complete idiot. But the comments from Nikki Haley just nailed the coffin shut. If you haven't heard these comments yet, here they are. Elder statesman here. This whole talk about age makes me uncomfortable. I think that I think it's the wrong road to go down. She says people, you know, politicians or something are not in their prime. Nikki Haley isn't in her prime. Sorry. When a woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s and maybe 40s. What do you that's talk about? That's not according to me. Prime for what? 
Uh, it, it depends. I mean, it's just like prime. If you look it up, it'll. If you look, if you Google when is a woman in her prime, it'll say twenties, thirties, and forties. I don't necessarily. Forties. Oh, I got another. I'm not saying I agree with that. So I think she has to be careful about saying that you know politicians aren't in their prime. You need to qualify. Are you talking about prime for like childbearing, or are you talking about prime for being president? What the facts are? Google it. Everybody at home. And Mike Tyson gets animated at Don Lemon. For to spend more time with you. You are an incredible guy. Thank you so much. Well, what the hell did you put I, me on the I show for? Well, I put you on the show to get you on to talk about your, your series. We talked for a long time, actually. Oh, no, but we talked for a long time off the camera. Uh, <laughs> the new show, Mike Tyson Mysteries, airs every Monday Don night Lemon at 10 p.m. <laughs> this was also recent when Don Lemon plays the victim and he says, Oh, you don't know what it's like to be a black American nowadays and this presidential presidential candidate says, Hey, I think we should be able to talk about ideas and Don Lemon tries to shut him down. You are a black skin and you live in this country, then you can disagree with me, but we're not. You mentioned that, you know, that we have three I, different shades of melanin I think we have to be able here. to talk about these issues in the open regardless of the color of our skin. Black Americans today, to say that, compare that to 1865 and 1964, I think to compare absolutely it to 1865 and have equal rights. Actually, I think it's insulting to black people. It's insulting to me as an African American. I don't want to sit here and argue with you because it's infuriating for you to put that, to put those things together. It's not right. Your telling of history is wrong. Your, what, what, your what part of the history was wrong? What, 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 what part of the history, history was wrong? The Due respect, I find, I find your explanation reductive and actually insulting, including to black Americans, to say that black people today, compared to 1964, 1865, haven't made progress in part because of the freedoms we secured. And the Second Amendment was black part people, of the Hang on, please. Freedom. I cannot keep a thought if you guys are talking to me in my ear. So uh, hang on one second. So to say that, that black people, say, say what you said again. Black people secured their freedoms after the Civil War. It is a historical fact, Don. Just study it. Only after their Second Amendment Black rights have, were secured. They That's were a fact. not secured their freedoms after the Civil War. That is not, you're, you are discounting uh, uh, Reconstruction. You're discounting a whole host of things that happened after the Civil War when it comes to African Americans, including the whole reason that the Civil Rights Movement happened is because black people did not secure their freedoms after the Civil War <laughs> and that things turned around. People were, tried to change the freedoms that were supposed and to And you know how they got. I hope you guys enjoyed this Don Lemon's worst moments on CNN. And I enjoyed putting this together. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below of what moments have been your favorite. As always, guys, peace. I am out.